Executive Enrollment Management and, and Communications here at Bishop Lewis Rocker Catholic School. And welcome to episode seven of Cougar Chat. And today, I'm so excited, we have Susan Darling, who is our pre-K-3 teacher. And she's going to talk about our fabulous early childhood pre-K program here at Bishop Riker. Susan, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. You're out oh, such a joy. I you're um, I love all of our teachers, but uh, you have a special place in my heart just because I've worked uh, closely closely with you since about 2012, way back in the day. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So um, tell us a little bit about how long you've been teaching here at Bishop Riker, and a little bit about about your background, so our viewers will get to know you a little bit better. Okay. Well, I graduated from Baylor. With Sick a, and Bears. I love Baylor with a degree in education and, and, and an emphasis on early childhood. And so I've been teaching a total of 21 years now. I'm old. Oh my goodness. But that's okay because I'm young at heart. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, I have to be. do Bishop um, Riker probably nine, I think nine years now. That's great. That's great. So um, what sets our pre-K program apart? I know our program's unique and I love it. Garrett started here, my son, in pre-K four. So tell us a little bit about what sets our pre-K program apart from daycare or any of the other programs here in Waco. Well, first and foremost, I think it's our outstanding teachers. Absolutely. We, have, we love our teachers. I mean, I'm kind of talking about myself too, but our teachers in pre-K are great. We do extra, I mean, extra little activities with the kids that, I mean, you'll just love. I, Last week, they brought a goat in in pre-K four because they were talking about farm. It was so cool. So things like that just set us apart. Um, we have small class sizes, so we're going to have no more than probably 15 to 16 in a classroom. That is small. That is a small classroom, and it's great. I've taught with 22 and 24 before with pre-K. Oh, so my goodness. It's much easier, and you get a connection with those students, um, so that's wonderful. Um, <clears throat> let's see. The, the students learn a... Um, I mean, think of the words here. Um, all subjects. So we are teaching them literacy, math, um, art, science, social studies, and including um, social skills. So they are getting all of that with us during the day. In one day's time, we get we give them all that. You do. You certainly do. And in pre-K, you have you're the full-time teacher, mm -hmm. and then you have an A yes. in pre-K three and pre-K four. Each of the yes uh, pre-K so classes. That's awesome. Right. Yes. So can you tell me, like a typical day? I know our program starts at eight o'clock and runs until three twenty in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Which, from a parent looking in with those little ones, you're like, oh my gosh, that's such a long day. Yes. But tell us how we break it out uh, for okay. students and that they yes. have nap time. Yes, we do lunch. have nap nap time. Time, which is wonderful so um pre-k three and pre-k four look a little they're the same but they're a little different because just pre-k four is a year older mm -hmm. so i'm going to go go over a typical day so we start with a large group activity which is we do calendars um days of the week weather we go over our social studies lesson for that day whether it be we're learning about easter now so we're talking oh, about easter great. stuff like that last week we talked about plants so like my class knew all the parts of the plants and they could recite them to you so that's wonderful things going on and then also then we i always end with moving and grooving so we always do some dancing and fun stuff at the end of large group because it is kind of it's a 30 minute session but we do a lot in that 30 minutes um, and then we go to PE, and then we come back. Um, we break out. Some of us go to different specials. Pre-K four goes to. I got to remember these: computer, maker space, art, library, and music. Pre-K three only goes to music, library, and oh, yeah. iPads. iPads. Yeah. So we're doing yes. an iPad center or iPad not center, but iPad um, breakout little session that we go to. Um, after that is done, we do have a snack in the morning, and then we go back into our small groups and rotation time. So in pre-K three, we have two groups of um, two small groups that we do. My aide has one, and I have one that we're doing a lesson on. And then the rest of the um, students are at centers, and then we do a rotation. And the children learn this rotation. It's all a part of a management system that we've learned, and the kids know how to go into centers, use their bear tags. It's wonderful. It does. It's really a fun-filled day. I know that anytime I'm having a 
challenging day. <laughs> you know, I poke my head in pre-K three or pre-K four, and those students just brighten my day up. Yes. Um, they're so sweet, and I know from observing our pre-K program that the the teachers are very loving. Uh, caring. They take care of the students, and that's one of the things that I'm most proud of. Susan, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. And if you would like to learn more about our pre-K program, please give us a call at 254-754-2041 and ask to speak with me, Becky Charlotte. Thank you. Thank you.